uh, welcome back guys so today uh, there's some change in the market as you can see the market started let me talk by my trade which is open gp and jd you can see the market has just started and what has happened here that uh, 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 the market started very low and it went up taking the support of this level it is coming down so the early running profit of my 90 dollar is now at loss so i am going to exit it and it was expected actually dollar gbp aud is the same the market has turned it move so i'm going to exit it out so now we are starting from scratch to analyze the market and uh, yep if i have woke up a little early today so i would have uh, cashed off this sale i have exited this point and taken the sale again but it's a little late now to enter this uh follow this sale right now because it was a good support area a good hammer okay good support area good hammer good resistance at 21 it was making a perfect sense to take the trade at this level this support level sorry support level might be here good perfect sense to uh, to take the trade here taking support at last resistance so resistance is last support uh, taking uh, resistance at 21 ema and uh, forming a hammer camel can the best entry to come down anyway so uh, the trade which i closed today is 50 dollar 35 dollar it was running at 80 and 99 approx 200 last uh, friday and being monday i know as i my rule is so my rule is no trading on monday and friday basically i have one more rule that uh, all trade taken all trade taken should be as so closed on friday new york session so my one more rule is that all trade taken over the week should be closed on friday new york session because because it the trade which are taken the whole week on monday the trade open monday tuesday wednesday now it's not going to so on monday if something happens market opens the gap up gap down and it uh ruins all the things so i am removing all the things and, uh, let me start i don't know which this is the current one no it's not the current one sorry so this is my current uh template black and white so now going for week what happened last two weeks see so last two weeks it rallied okay and this week again it started gap down so uh, talking amount were okay so here i can see in our day trade last was doji which is in this candle now in our it has tried to move down but i'm not finding any good entry point so i'll not take any trade but here is a support area in our time frame you can see here so if market comes down at this level and try to go up then i will take the long trade because on week it is up trade in day it is doji right so doji means indecision so indecision means market can continue a market can reverse and uh, so for entry i need a very good uh, entry point here and obviously i don't think we'll find the point today today is monday so market will rally all day till here it will spend all day here so person who are trading in 15 minutes 20 minutes they can find a good entry point you can see here the person who are trading 15 minutes have found a good entry point but i'm not a trader of 15 minutes i'm a uh, 
trader of uh, what they say price section you can say so for me 15 minute doesn't matter coming to gbp chf sorry uh, let me take this one my recent one yeah this is a recent which i prepared so So coming to weekly time frame, it showed a good promising down. Then what happened? Whoa! It's mother candle here. I can't say it's mother candle. It's like uh, this market went up, came down. It's like hammer. If I must do this to candle, so it will be like this let me go clearly so if i merge to this candle merge this to candle dog dog and hand so i will get a big very good hammer candle there so two weeks in a hammer candle means market will uh, go down in day gbcad last friday it went down didn't i take gbcad last friday why it was a very good position yeah because at the same level market went up here same level the double top is formed in the same direction of uh, day trade so i didn't take to the hourly trade in hour four also i can see like uh, after opposite hammer i can't take this trade because the day trade was saying down trend so but it was a big diversion going to hourly trade so I didn't took this. Okay, I must have taken this trade. But Friday, being Friday, I must have been uh, wiped out. Actually, I want to try one something. Give me a moment. Please bear with me. So I want to try the Fibonacci. So last Fibonacci point is from here to here. You dekhe mujhe tu mere. Yes, I want to uh, change something in Fibonacci from next time I will take out. I only want to see Fibonacci level of. Uh, I don't want to see 23 level. I don't want to see 38 level. I want to see 50 level, 68 level. I don't want to see 61 level. 26 doesn't matter. I don't want to see 100 level. I only two level 50 and 61. Yep. So, uh, where did my start my Fibonacci from where? Okay, let me reset it again. Sorry, my mistake. No, no, no sorry, cancel. So, Friday, I must, if I had taken, I had taken some trade for five trade, and it was all based on this, uh, uh, this instance level. But what happened that I was marked out, stop loss out. So the big boss has separate different plan. So now, as I can see, even if I had this range, I have to put my stop loss above this range. So there's two things to put a stop loss. One is I have to take the previous candle, previous support level. If the range is very slow, low, I have to put my stop loss above the range okay it could be here it could be here somewhere here yeah above this candle previous candle is also so here two things are being confirmed for my stop loss so so today basically uh, there is no case that i am going to take any trade but uh, i have to learn to put a stop loss so the last support here is this one the resistance level is the same so my stop loss would have must have should have been above this uh, previous area. <clears throat> then it would, have, it would have made sense, but <clears throat> whatever I had not uh, that uh, I have not taken that benefit here. So I incurred a stop loss last time in GBGP also. I did hit stop loss from here to here. Same thing. Uh, uh, the range is here. I can say like the range is here. And the range is most probably here. I took the trade here. And I if I put it my stop loss above the range, it would have been a good trade. And secondly, I would I am trying to find out the stop loss with my Fibonacci label also. And I told you that I have to 
look for the yeah job fibonacci level is not saying anything for the stop loss so it is saying that the market uh, is good for the entry and 61 level supporting here So I proceed the ETR for the stop loss. Okay, so what is the status for today in GP JPY? In weekly, it made a hammer. Hanging man. Daily. Oh ho. Daily also it shows one uh, uh, top tweezer and the second confirmation candle. We have seen the confirmation candle. It's a top tweezer and confirmation candle. Now the market is supposed to go down. So our four. We missed this trade. So now being the support area, this is not taking support. Where is the support resistance level? So it's very hard for me to find a next support resistance level. Let me take go to our one. What I'm seeing here, any support resistance level? Or maybe day trade. Day basis. This is area of most last support resistance site. Right? Yeah, I can take this one. So I am taking from our day. I am not seeing any uh, support is level in our one. So I am feeling difficulty to map the support distance. So I will st start from day trade, day time frame, and slowly, gradually, I move down to find out which will be my support area. So my support area should be like uh, it can be like this one. Our trade. Shift plus. One second, sorry. So major support area, my major support area should be like this level. This one, this is the major support area. So major support area on this level and the market is supposed to go down. It is forming a evening morning evening star. One thing does this evening star satisfies any uh what we say support area. So this was a very Choppy area right now, and my range is. I am not going to be miser in putting my stop loss range, so I have to increase this range, and my range is going to be like this much. Uh, this is my no trading zone basically. This is my no trading zone, and uh, I am the proper entry if I have to take the trade. So, this is my no trading zone. So either it makes a good uh, comeback and hit uh, take the proper Fibonacci from here to here. Yep, if it comes to this 50 level and touches the 21 EMA, 50 EMA, then goes down. Then I will take the trade into here and book the profit till this level. So I'm uh, thinking three ways. This is a major support relation level. If I go in day time frame and hourly time frame. And uh, our lit out for time frame is in a range. I don't want to trade. It's a major area where the stop loss will be hit. So people who are taking the stop loss at this level, it is most probably their stop loss will be hit because it is not making anything. Secondly, you can see the market went down, came up a little, and it went down here. So at this level, yesterday, no. No false, no false information, sorry. So no trade for me here. I will wait for it to come up and go down. So let me mark down my notes for today's trade. So if we start, uh, for if you want to be an optional trader, to so start practicing today, it will take you across hours, maybe, sorry, 
years, two years, two months at end. So we are looking for GBP AUD, GB, GBP AUD, not today, tomorrow. Uptrend from four GPC adding GPC adding what we're looking for is day time frame is very much gone. What I'm seeing is I didn't saw anything, I didn't mention anything right now. So this is last support uh, support level which has broke. So it is most appropriate to be the distance level, and it has to go down. So until it comes to this distance level, I'm not going to do anything. <coughs> GB, JPY. GBP, JPY, so, so uh, I have to only take four trades in a maximum. I can take three to three to four trades in a day, and not more than that. Sell if break the zone or fifty Fibonacci. Okay, talking about GP and JD weekly. It's an uptrend. No, 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 no. If it has taken some support, it has given support and tried to come down, uh, go up. This week, it was going up, but from the major support area, it fell down. And when try to go up and again, it took a hit and coming down. So still, I'm losing this trade, but uh, so the market turned off from which level today? The market started at this level. I am taking the range of 15 minutes and just put join to see. So the more expected market will uh, go down only, but uh, Market is unpredictable. So one second, what is this level? This level is like this is the major area. Okay. So this is the A level where uh, uh, most support resistance happening. Market is happy support resistance. Yeah, this level. And this is level. The market started going up today. Then from last level is coming down. So now it is a range I can see. And it is also a range. So maybe this week it will uh, go in a range and we will, will be taking the range trade. So this range trade should be based on 15 minutes time frame. If it comes back from here, then may I I think I don't know I may uh, try 15 minutes uh, trading, but uh, that's not my that's not what I want to do. But uh, you have to take every ball if I get playing a cricket. If it is low, you have to dodge it. You have to play every sort. <coughs> okay. GB and GT is a range now. In a big good range. And uh, we may see the good range concept here. In 15 minutes. So the person who knows the market very well. 
basically more than me then i don't actually anything i'm learning and i'm struggling basically so i have made this black one i should remove this one let me remove this one so let me make it fresh again so today is a today the video will be very long two hours i think and i don't want to make it but okay but it is it is it is necessary for me to understand the market it goes long back the support resistance level and uh, it this one or this one i don't know i think it must be so the market is going down it has crossed the support 50 minutes it is coming to the support level which was tested once twice here and it tries here in day time frame it is coming down so So it was a good entry point actually and i missed it so here uh this day time frame limit coming to hourly time oh, 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 oh. let me delete this one sorry so what happened everything is related yeah okay so in our our four time frame it is showing uh, it shows some retracement and is again coming down in our four <coughs> so let me see something the next support level is this below one till that time market is supposed to go down coming to our time frame it is not the good time to enter right now so this was the good time yesterday, day before yesterday, which I think we missed. And this happened in London session. So Oh, so this is a no trading zone you can see here the market has fluctuated so much here fluctuated so much here fluctuated here and it's doing the same fluctuating here so market is supposed to go down <clears throat> but anybody who is trading this candle engulfing candle at this point maybe risking their trade so i think it will make some uh, area what we say this one trending choppy market so it will make some choppy movement here i i feel like that but i may be wrong i can be wrong i may be wrong oh it's so hurting right now i missed this big big profit on friday <clears throat> I'm looking for double bottom here. Let me tell you why. I'm looking double bottom here because the market has crossed below 30 
and it shows a very big down movement. It is not taking any, we don't have any support area for this uh, pullback, pullback. And uh, for it's the zone, this zone was maintained in our one time frame. So for this hour, so day time frame, not the hour for also. So I, I'm not liking this one. I'm missing this one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cry right now. So in day trade, so it must come back a little here and again go down because market can't move in a steady format. So I'm looking for it to come down here. It must form one more uh, uh, candle like uh, hammer or bullish engulfing mother candle anything within this zone and uh, the this must be diversion here then i will take a buy trade and my buy stop loss should be approached my profit should be across this level where it must be touching 50 ema so gbp chf i'm looking for uh, gbp chf looking for double bottom db so these are all for uh, our four trade okay usd let me write it down gbp usd sell John break GBNJD uh, zone trading GBP and JT zone trading. Maybe I will look trade for 15 minutes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or I will observe. Mostly I will observe. I will not read. <clears throat> Coming to next currency, Euro. So, Euro GP. It had, I have, take, I have taken stop loss in Euro GBP in uh, and Friday, I think there was diversion. It was forming a hammer and engulfing candle. I entered it and put the stop loss below this, and it hit the stop loss on Friday. Okay, copy for your AMD. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Sorry. Let's clear the chart. On weekly time frame, I can see market going up. Very good. It is uptrend, 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 uptrend. Daily time frame, yep. In last two days, gone went up, then now it is forming a doji. So, but uh, the resistance level in uptrend is uh, in the resistance level here. Maybe not in day, in hour four, do I see a resistance level? Let me start from day only. So, in week, uh, insert, save, rectangle, insert, Save rectangle. So this is one support area. I'm taking the wig only. I will so see why I'm taking the wig here. Then after in hour four, in day trade, it must go at this level and come down. Not necessary. So it is an uptrend. We have seen that it is an uptrend. Now still going up. And instead it is going up. So, our four in our four, it is a is it at a very big range uh, support uh, level, resistance level. Yeah, you can see, you can see resistance level one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a resistance level, and it's literally making a zone. Now let me show you something. So what is this? You can see 
it came back went down came back went down came back coming down so these are in the same level but in our time frame uh, in rsa you can see diversion here it is in a range but here it is a diversion so it is worth taking the risk i think so in 15 minutes people must have traded the zone in last friday but i am not a 15 minutes time frame guys so in weekly it is an uptrend in daily it is taking a support it's a resistance our fourth it has broke the resistance and taken the support in our one so basically what is happening here the market is an uptrend zone but oh my god is it range trading or i am doing some mistake am i making mistake taking trade here let me see am i making mistake taking trade here I will not if I make if I'm making mistake or not until I try. So this is the stop loss of thirty dollar with a profit of sixty dollar. I'm thinking at this level support resistance level next to yeah it is support resistance level next level which I'm thinking like this. So how much pips? It is approx oh oh twenty nine pips uh, four seventy two pips five hundred approx to nine hundred. Maybe I'm making a mistake, but uh, 472. So it's like it is within a range. It must come down to hit this uh, this support resistance level, this range again. And once it hit this range, it is supposed to go up. Why go up? Why go up? Because in weekly time frame, it is an uptrend. In daily time frame, it is a doji and. <coughs> It is a dozy and it may come down. So everything on probability. So I think my calculation can be wrong, but who cares about my calculation? I even don't care my calculation. Just joking, bro. So it has to, it is, it has to, it is within a range. It is trying to break the range. Once it brings a diversion, I can see the diversion here. Basically, the truth is speaking, truth is speaking. And it's the same area of a range. It will, it is about to break the range and it will hit this level. Once it is hit this level, uh, I will look for the buy range, buy area, and the market is about to perish again. So these are all the estimates. But again, I can see one more area. <coughs> <clears throat> I can see one more thing. This is another support area. So even though it break the range, it can take this is support area. So if it break this zone, it takes the support resistance level, it can go up. But in our four, <coughs> it may happen, but okay no more thinking right now so i'm taking a little bit of downfall here and it's going up so the uh, this time stop loss is above the range and i'm not going to make that mistake to take this uh, stop loss now coming to euro cad in weak time frame it had taken the support level uh, and uh, but again the market moved up and it formed the doji uh, <laughs> it from the sorry <clears throat> so in europe canadian so in weekly time frame we can see that it took the support 
of a very good support was there and from a hammer and for last day before last week two three week three weeks back it made a hammer and two weeks uh, before uh, two weeks it made a good uh, uptrend then after it, it started to go down and i feel like uh, let me edit everything here so about everything okay weekly hammer then on daily basis it is so in weekly basis it is a downtrend you can see the diversion here but it tried to go up from the zone it went a little now it is coming down <clears throat> So I missed this trade on yesterday. Yesterday this uh, downtrend. I think I was. I must be confused. Something like that, because uh, I was seeing this doji. I'm not seeing this market structure. The market structure shows diversion on weekly time frame. Means market is going down, but to the support. So it was going a little up, and on uh, hourly time frame, it's in London session. I think it went. It shows a great, or oh, in Tokyo session itself, it shows a great downtrend. So now, what are you thinking, Asis? I'm thinking like it will go again down. My mind is being a little cloudy here. Weekly, daily, it's always downtrend. It was always a downtrend. It was always a downtrend. Downtrend. It was always a downtrend. I can see diversion hour four also. I can see diversion here. See, but I didn't say like that. Now it's in a good range area, and there's no trading zone right now. But after some time, which is like uh, if I take Fibonacci from here and put it here. If it touches back to this level, Fibonacci 50 and support of RSI 15, it's goes going down. Then I will take an entry. Let me, you know, CAD. Why sell? RSI diversion is there. Diversion and downtrend okay so so you know see i canadian i have to wait for CAD. i don't know if i'm, if I'm pronouncing right you know cad and all but you know gpp uh i hit the loss here also stop loss i'm going to clear everything this way again <clears throat> weekly time frame Ooh. it is a downtrend because it made the high at this level with the diversion here on weekly time frame so it missed the downtrend had started so market was going down so it took some resistance level here support level here, and market trying to go up so major it has a downtrend coming to daily so daily week it is showing that uh on thursday it was a hammer friday it was a uh, so as it was bullish in Friday, Friday it was more like dozy, not hammer. And uh, uh, today, so here I can't predict right now. It is a very bad situation for me. It's more of a choppy market when it comes to our four. So I don't want to trade our four here. 
so our one i mean i don't trade our one because it's too choppy market here our four also is a little bit choppy it is hitting the stop loss so many times here but in daily time frame the choppiness is a little less so but i have missed this i don't know i am not in this video people but now euro gbp is very bad for me okay okay I'm not looking at this one. Any so this looks good to me right now. Euro NZD. It was in after this diversion. It was an uptrend. And uh, daily taking support. It took support three days back, and it was a good profit area. Now it is coming into a zone. I think. So this was a very good area to trade, and uh, I think I made some profit in this Euro NZD, some good profit. I think I can't really try, remember right now. So it's coming within a range. It is trying to I don't know what it's trying to do. I don't know. I don't know. Let us oh sorry, something bad happened. What happened? Oh, I got scared sometimes. Okay, this was uh visible. I only want to trade this one. Okay, so this is the range from it went up a little. The major support area actually this is a major support area. Now coming to our time frame, this is another range from where market is pushing down. So it is a range trade. So if the range is to go down, come back again, retest. If retest, I will take a sell trade. Weekly, it's an uptrend. Daily, uptrend. It's a support resistance level. Trying to go up. Hourly one. Oh, it's so hard. So in the range, euro and JD, let me write euro and JD in the range. GP, uh -huh. GP and JD also in the zone. And then, okay. Range. So basically for zone, it must start, hit this area once twice it must come and again go up then i can say it's a zone trade but it can be like this also like it is coming to this level uh, let me draw this diagram properly it is coming to this level and it can again go up taking this area as a support it can uh, again go up if it does that then i will take a long trade but seeing the our core trade I'm not, I don't want to trade right now because it's Monday and market can be a little unpredictable. So that's I'm not taking any trade. GP and JT. Let me see GP and JT. It is still coming to this level. The zone area. 15 minutes, it's still going down. We started seeing the market around somewhere here. But it doesn't matter. Let's prepare our note and keep our luck together. There is no such thing as luck. Okay. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Christmas, Christmas. So it has came in June and it went up. So let's see weekly brown trend. Daily. Down trend, obviously. Hour four. Very good downtrend. 
no it was divergence somewhere something yeah it was divergence so it taken but basically downtrend along long is downtrend down and down and down trend. but here was some really diverse it came back to this level it tried to clean we went down our one so in our one trend zone so what should i do next i don't know i don't know bowling band so i i think i should involve bowling band here b o l bollinger band my mistake so bollinger band is uh, only beneficial when it is in a range so <laughs> i don't know how to bollinger band <laughs> Bollinger band. No, let's keep it. Even though I, I'm not doing anything in this trade, let's keep the Bollinger band. Maybe I could understand after when I see a second time. You know, JPY. Weekly range daily. Oh, it is going down. It's broke the it's in a range, but uh, hourly four. Wow, the good range opportunity inter trade hourly one. Today, market sold uh, sold us sale for this to be valid. I need few one archie. I get about 50. No, it's not about 50. I can't take the trade, even though it is supporting the what supporting the what supporting the oh, yeah. Taking support 21 EMA, I'm not going to take a trade because I can see here the another support level is this one. The minus support level. You can see, yeah, you are more intelligent than me, actually. You guys are more intelligent than me. I'm just a stupid guy. So control B lets me change this color. I'm not changing color today. So the people who like drawing also may like to trade because it's same thing. Green. So this is the next support area and it is within the 50 to 60 Fibonacci. And if I take the trade, I will be doing a mistake here. Because it is not in a support area. It is not uh, supporting the Fibonacci from the last level. It will happen the same thing which happened here. I would have entered here, it came back and my stop loss was it. So it's as it is said by my mentor, they can multi mentor. It's best to not to trade to save money and to base stop loss is to wait for the good entry. So it is Euro JPY. Hey, I'm not getting so it will be like Euro JPY. Sell from. 50 people maybe 50 and support resistance resistance and 50 ema so here i can see i will if i am trying to fibonacci i am getting the best area of 50 that is also the resistance area and it can also be the 50 ema so if that happens then I will be like balle balle. So if that happens, I will take the profit of one is to three. Yes, my lord. That's correct. I will take the profit of one is to three. Yesterday, day before study, I was trying to take the zone on Friday. I entered the trade at this level. I thought this it will be helping the zone and my the profit was here, but I stopped loss was hit at this level and I was like oof. So one second, this is zone trading. And in zone trading, to trade the zone area up and down. So I'm uh, this is that like uh, this is like uh, I'm trading within a zone, but to trade the up and down, I need bowling band, Bollinger band. So I don't know if this is pre-installed Bollinger band in this. I don't know. I have to do some setting. I have to see some video, and I will do some trade setting. But uh, if I pull the Bollinger band. 
it is confusing. And since I have some trading plan here, I am going to remove the Bollinger band from here. I have to learn two things. First is uh, ATR, how to use ATR for my stop loss. Second, what are the other ways to put my stop loss? Which is very much important. So now we are in Euro CHF. So Euro CHF is at the major support level which happened in weekly and it is still continuing on daily basis. It is coming back to the zone and blah, 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 blah. Nothing to really specify in our one. In our one, it is, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Save, rectangle. In short, I'm looking for double bottom. To be very precise. And nothing more to talk about. It has to come down at this level and take this. I'm not going to take the trade here because there's no support area to uh, help this one. It may again go back and again come down. So it can go anywhere here and here, anywhere it can go here. Either it can go up, it can go down because I don't have anything to support this one. Even if Fibonacci doesn't support this one, it was a big movement, right? It was a big movement. The Fibonacci also don't support this one. So it, if it has went at this Fibonacci level and was supporting 21 EMA, then I would have taken the sale and it would book the profit this level. But being in this middle, I'm not going to take any trade. It can go up also, it can come down also. If it goes up at 50 EMA, uh, 50 Fibonacci, then I would take a sale from this level. Or if it comes here and make another hammer candle or bullish engulfing, mother candle, uh, bullish rami, something like that, then I will take a long trade with the, obviously, LSI diversion. So, you know, CHF, again, double bottom. Double bottom opportunity. So we have double, uh, double bottom opportunity here. You can see the connection, Euro CHF, CBCHF, same thing going on. Euro CAD, RSA diversion, downtrend, sale. CPCAD, sale from resistance, same thing. DPAUD, off from support. Euro AD, and Euro AD, I don't know if you know, okay. Euro JPY, sale from 50 Fibonacci at resistance 50 EMA. GPJPY. Then we break the zone of 50 Fibonacci. So you can see the connection here, right? So things are moving same way, more or less. I think I you have guys have seen my personal mail ID, which is not good. It's very bad to look at the personal mail ID. And you have seen my personal mail ID. I hate you guys. Okay. Now we are USC CHF. Weekly time frame. Let me delete everything here. I don't know how to trade anything right now. So what can I see? So it was a downtrend. Now it is making higher highs. Now I'm expecting it to make higher lows. The higher lows should be at So high low should be at this level. So it was making the uh, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then it's really made upper high, higher high. Now it's predicted to make a higher low. So we look for uptrend. So, but the market is showing again the downtrend. In our one, it has showed this one. This is a diversion. People must have taken a trade and not, they don't know. So it has to come at this level and in this level, if it breaks out, I will take a buy trade, nothing else to see here. It is up trend now, you know, USD CHF. We have any CHF, DB not about opportunity. So USD CHF, I'm not adding any notes in for this one. Coming to USD CAD. In week, it is a triangle. In day, 
power so it is a triangle formation it is in our brains right now and uh, i don't know uh, what is happening here so i didn't took this trade now it is a murder candle but uh, not a murder candle it doesn't make any candle right now i think from here double uh, tweezer it went up and the time frame and now it is going down so what should i predict now what should i expect from here i can expect that this range can be crucial for next movement i think so next time it comes up this level again here then i would look for downtrend and obviously my tp1 can be this one yeah my tp1 can be at this level and my tp2 can be at this level so nothing to do right now i'm thinking to come to the up, up here making a double top at the same moving time um, same uh, moving uh, same train level and uh, train level not is a zone actually weekly zone okay and it is expected to go down so yep it has moved a lot i don't know just a cd Let's write it down. USDCAD, the double top, and the rate for our AB. Nothing to say here, triangle. Triangle zone, top hit. So it's a triangle zone which is hitting the top and coming trying to come down so it can be case here okay usd jpy uh, weekly it is at high level it has to come down so double top the diversion was here dog 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 it went down it went up now it is expected to come down at this level back to this range because market cannot but persist in the same area maybe i will just this i will not see this area for a long 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 month i know that but i want to draw it draw it now coming to this one i can see in daily time frame it is a zone insert safe first act, oh, oh, insert safe first rectangle so i don't know today i'm missing so many things okay so but when i come to our four i can see diversion here again it is the diversion our one sit it's too big for the for me to uh, handle So taking this one, this white candle as my yep, range, if I take this one and I move a little up, it hey, should be so difficult for me to coming to our four. I think I should take this trade actually. Why? Let me show you. So it has taken the 50 uh, supporting area from here, from this 100% EMA, and it is going down. And uh, yeah, I'm late at entry, but a second confirming candle, third confirming candle, I will take it here. My stop loss should be at this level above with this 61, it's $12 approx. So it's start 10 and uh, 10 or 10. So 193 pips and profit will be 
at this rate 193 to 4 <coughs> loss is how much 224 <coughs> plus same as the two days so okay let's see how the market moves up now you see the, our four time frame it is most likely that the diversion is happening here i can see the diversion so this market went up but it went down so my next level can also be this one in our one so let's see 12 is 2 <laughs> 72. It means like uh, 1 is to come to come to this bracket. C A L C. 72 by 12. It's around 1 to 6 ratio. Trading in the zone can also uh, lead to, as I told you earlier, when you are trading in a zone or trading breakout or trading double bottom. The risk to reward also can be 1 is to 5, 1 is to 6 is very much possible. But when I'm trading the uptrend, downtrend, normal trend, then it it is always 1 is to 2. So now let's wait and watch. I'm just want to see if my stop loss is properly placed or not. If I come to 15 minutes time frame, my stop loss is placed at this level. And before this candle, this was the level, this previous high. This was a zone breakout, but uh, okay, I will make put my stop loss a little, a little more here. Yeah. <coughs> I'm taking a little more risk. So I've moved above this one. Let me show you something. This one, I've taken the loss above this one. And at the same time of this one, this is the last time it was. So it broke here, but this if it broke this level, then I will be wiped out. Not the big deal. It happens. It's all market strategy. But now I have a very safe side. Like I have, I am trading the Fibonacci of 50 EMA, 50 Fibonacci. At the same time, 50 EMA also. I'm trading the same thing. 50 EMA for 21. Okay, I'm trading 21 EMA with the 50 Fibonacci support and the range trade. So I think I am at a very good uh, area. I, for the saber side, I've taken my support loss uh, loss above 61. So now my risk to reward ratio has changed, like uh, 72 divided by 15 is 4.88. Then also it is very good, and I don't know it can be or it cannot be that level profit for me. Going to next trade, NJD. It showed some promise here. Weekly, daily. Actually, I'm tired right now, and I'm not. I will not be able to make more correct decision to take the trade. So I think I should stop here. You dikhe mujhe tu mere. So market was going down at this level. Insert safe rectangle from here. It's a very <coughs> choppy area. It didn't even touch the chop. It didn't touch the choppy area. Oh my god! Didn't touch the choppy area and it started moving up from here. And it had some support area which is here. Support as it is distance in something area and i don't know there are so many diagram i messed up my diagram i think something like that but who knows maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong okay we start with NJD usd again same thing i'm tired yeah so for today it two days it moves like crazy in two days it moved like crazy from when it formed double pressure it was ah oh, ah oh. Oh, it's so hurting. In day time frame, it was double tweezer. In our time frame, it was the last support resistance. Oi, oh, hey, on Friday. No, no, not Friday, my mistake. Two days back. Oh. 
it was worth day trading the very best trade mechanism and my risk to reward is would have been control f yep. it's like uh, 400 pips to 800,000 pips okay yeah, once to i could have taken once to this today's reward ratio but the risk was not one is to two the risk was not there it was a very major support resistance level in our time frame it was a very good double tweezer on daily basis it was a very nice downtrend so it must it is not like it was in a uh, what you say it is not it was not a risk actually it was you have no risk in taking this trade the risk probability yeah risk to reward one is to do two ratio but probability of downtrend was i had support i had double tweezer day time frame i had diversion in our time frame so many things so in day time frame i had double tweezer top tweezer in our time our time frame i was a support area distance area in our time frame it was in diversion it was not so the risk to reward ratio would have been one is to two, but the probability of being a good trade was 80%. So the risk was very minimum in this case. It was pure my stupidity. I missed this trade and the profit across, I don't know, $80, $90. That can be the case, which I missed the profit. So my stupidity, nothing can be done. Non NSD CHF. <clears throat> you are going to kill me, Asi. Seriously, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I am so stupid that I'm missing this big, big, big trade and profit. I'm so stupid. Okay, here I don't have, I don't see diversion. Okay. In this case, I don't see diversion. Okay, which is good for me and I'm not that stupid and I can say that I am a little bit safe from my side from myself actually because I hear myself when these things happens. If I drop him not from here to here, what was this level? <gasps> it was level of 50 Fibonacci our food. I hear myself. <laughs> I hear myself. It was Fibonacci of $50 for myself and I Fibonacci and it was a very in day basis it was in the single thing market was going up at the support level it was from support level this it is coming down and it making the breakout of 50 EM 50 Fibonacci so I am the stupid guy so my major support level is this one, first TP1, and it can be TP2. So I missed my TP1, TP2. I need to start taking, putting TP1, TP2. Maybe from next week, not this week. So what I'm seeing right now here, and NJDCHF double bottom. You can see again this Euro CHF again the same thing is happening multiple pairs. So when you're taking a trade and you're taking in one pair, you can confirm it from another pair also, which has same demand denominator or same uh, numerator. Like I said, uh, Euro AUD it was same AUD up from support. Oh ho, AUD again AUD. We don't have another AUD. So what happening from Euro AUD? Something coming going down, not going up down. <clears throat> oh, 
so you you did this trade was a little risky so i'm going to see what is happening here <clears throat> okay coming back AUDs so now I am tired and my whole I am not able yet analyze my whole pair so I can see the market is supporting but is going up so I am doing a simple analysis and leaving this trade right now yeah, I will look for only day trade. What is in a day trade? What is showing in day trade? Day trade is showing uh, nothing weekly. It was a big, nice movement for weekly for last week. Last week it went full down. And did I take any low sell trade? No. AOD CHF, I missed a big sell trade last week. Okay. Okay. I thought like it may go up from here. I think what was going on day trade also, it was going down. Okay, so now I'm still looking for our bottom AOD CHF, AOD CAD. Weekly, what happened last two weeks? It's going down, it's within the range, it's coming up. I don't know. Let me move this a little more down. Okay, I'm looking for chance of double bottom. Here, I will take two time profit. TP. I will be looking for TP1, TP2 in when it comes down here. It is already showing diversion here. And uh, if it moves up from here, then it must be. No, it will not move up. UDJPY is diversion, full diversion here. Weekly, what can I see in weekly time frame? It's a choppy market. It's nothing I can see here. It's nothing I our one. You can see it. You can see it. You can So nothing for me to trade here right now and i'm going again to aod and jd i think i've seen this one no? chf yeah i've seen this one aod and jd it broke out of the range it coming down weekly daily hour four hour four it was a zone breakout it was zone breakout. It was a zone breakout, but not so. Any trade I'm taking Friday, I should close on Friday itself, or weekly trade should be close on Friday because Monday the market can turn anything, which is a risky for me. <clears throat> So I'm tired now. This is a diversion actually, but I can't say anything more. Okay, okay, Why making this much big per day? So day candle is across from here to right. It's the last candle was this much only. So My last candle for two uh, shape rectangle. I am tired actually. Or please spare me, Nasis. Please leave me. I want to take a nap a little. I am having a little more headache. Uh, so here. It has to break because I can see. Oh, oh. 
because I can see like it is going to break this area. I don't expect on bottom formation in this case because I can already see diversion here. So diversion already moved out, so it has to break up and come down, down and go up. Can I make some diagram here? I don't know. Yes, I never made a diagram here. Lines. Free free diagram. Don't don't I have free diagram here? So this empty for I don't have free diagram. The empty five has come, but doesn't matter which platform you trade. So AUD USD, they write it. AUD USD B R E A K break break and the T S T test T R E yes I used to be resistance then by Okay, so you take about this at home or other. Uh, now gold. Finally, I'm looking to gold. Oh my God. So it happened like it took this. I can't only trade support. Fit support, I need my 21 EMA or or what? Or Fibonacci. I need something, right? I told you already. My trading area, how my trading strategy is, if you remember. Am I still following that one? I have to check it again. So my trading is, uh, trading is like, are you following the trend? We'll find a trend. Then we'll see if it is support and resistance level. If it is support and resistance level, then only we will enter trade. Is it also not? Then it's the first criteria. And it is also at the 21 or 50 EMA. If these two both answers are correct, then we'll look for the candlestick pattern for the entry. This is indicator. This is my, uh, 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 this is called the Okay, uh, price action we can say and press action or DEM and demand supply. So, first price action demand supply should be fulfilled. If it is fulfilled, then we'll go for the indicator. Indicator is uh, Indicator will be like uh, 21 EMA or I'm making a little complicated, right? <laughs> 50, uh, 50 level Fibonacci. If it is there, then it should be my control U. I don't think it would do control B or U in this. The notepad. So are you are you following the trend? Yes. It is support level. Yes. This two satisfies. Then we will trade that India trade. So now third point. Is it also 21 or 50 EMA? Or or 50 level Fibonacci? <clears throat> it is also the 50 also the 50 EMA at, I need 50 EMA at, or is it at 21 EM, EMA and very important if I'm trading at 21 EMA 50 uh, FIBO 50 levels should be supportive I can't trade 21 EMA alone. 21 EMA alone is not good for me. And if talking about entry, start point C level. For entry, does the candlestick pattern validate entry? Yes. Then we'll take the entry. 
and obviously D. Very important. Stop loss. So first we'll see the price action. If it is good and a support resistance, then we can look for indicator to well that the support and is the price level. Then after the interest will be with the candlestick. Then after blah blah blah. So here uh, it was 21 EMA, and if I had to enter, I'm not entering like enter that day because it was like full sit. So if I had to enter, so last round was this one. So yeah, it I would not have taken this down because it was ever. It is support, but it is not uh, taking any Fibonacci now. But if I draw from here to here, I could see that my Fibonacci is taking, it is supporting 21 EMA somehow and uh, 50 EMA Fibonacci. So I could have taken this trade. From here, it was not possible. I would, it is obtained right now. From here, it is. Okay, so now nothing to see here. Weekly, uptrend daily, up, oh, it has outside the zone. It is not in triangle anymore. Our one, this was our one trend. Okay. So let me be more, little more specific. If I have taken from here, you can see the hammer in between the zone. It could be my first entry point, the profit of this level. Again, this is my second entry point. No, no, sorry. How can I say that's my first entry point? It can't be my first entry point now. My main entry point would have been this one only. I don't know why this one, 50, 50 and going up. So you know, AOD is not working as expected. So we'll take a loss and we'll exit out. I'm tired. Weekly downtrend daily. In data, it is going a little up. Following the hammer hour four day trade it broke below the zone and it came to stay the support of 50 all t sale it will be loss will be above this okay so it's 81 pips Let's just take next support is support level 15 minutes. The loss is of eight dollar, profit is of twenty-four dollars. It can go anywhere. <clears throat> okay, that's it for today. So last round I'm just going to see all my things which I have seen here. GPP AUD. The video is may very long. And it's tiring. It is time to take the support, but not yet. If it breaks the zone of 50 MA, if it breaks the zone, it's come to 50 MA, then I will sell in ZD. USD. USD. Sell zone break. CHA. Double bottom. <clears throat> Nothing is visible right now. So for two days, I've taken two, three trades. Uh, I'm already tired. Too much.
USCD, you have a new CD. Yeah, double top at four hour maybe. So it can go up at this twelve top at four hour, then it can come down. Then I will take the trade. Okay, triangle zone top hit, obviously. So I'm not taking trade right now. I was lost by minute this note. So writing notes. I'm a kind of a guy who, if I write something, then I can follow it. Otherwise. I can't follow if it's not written. Likha nahi to dikha nahi. That's my motto. If not written, then I don't know. The planning is most important in my case. I am a bookish type of guy. I go by rules. Rules are rules. And uh, why am I doing? Okay. I'm tired. I can't do analysis anymore. Okay, I'm done. I'm done for today. Thank you for wasting your time with me. And uh, it was pleasure making some stupidity comment here. Insert shapes rectangle. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. This is top area. This is more support. Area in daily time frame, hourly time frame, it is going down, hour it is going down, it must be coming down and taking directions at this level. Insert shape, shape rectangle, insert shape rectangle. What I'm doing is I don't know, it's something in back of my mind running right now, and I'm trying to figure it out for the next time. So I will take one more from here and Till here, it is not making any sense right now. But if I move it to here at this level, from here the market again started, and then it will make sense something. I will not explain why it will make sense, but it will make sense. Even achieve from top to bottom, bottom to top. So it may, it may not. If it comes here, the profit target will be here. So welcome to my loss zone and thank you for participating in the whole city.